wrapped up in the last half an hour. We've been talking about slides, haven't we, Peter? We have. Um, we've Coming been talking... out of football grounds, down a slide. Newcastle are going to do it. Yes, and they're going to, they have got plans to install a slide outside St James's Park in Newcastle, apparently to get fans, and I love this idea, whizzing away from the ground after matches. Uh, sounds a little bit mad, though, a little bit unsafe. Let's speak to Stephen Patterson from Anyone, the company that wants to make it happen. Stephen, evening to you. Tell us what you want to happen. What's the design? Good evening. Well, um, ultimately, what we're trying to do uh, here at Any One is just bring a little bit more fun into the city centre and certainly with uh, the development outside of St James's Park. You say a little bit more fun. What exactly are you planning? Well, we're, we're planning on redeveloping the, the public realm around St James's Park Metro Station, uh, immediately adjacent to the football ground. Uh, we're looking to bring in some terracing, just really create a contemporary uh, cosmopolitan area in the city centre. And I think as the region's capital, we very much just want to inject a little bit of fun, a little bit of confidence uh, in our position and uh, just create a lovely space that people would use and that would put a smile on people's faces. Are you planning slides? We are indeed, yes. How, how, how long would the slide be? Uh, the exact length of them is yet to be determined, but uh, I think the longest one would probably be in the region of around about sort of uh, 15 metres in length there or thereabouts. Now that sounds like a good slide to me. Yeah, the trouble is that sometimes people come from football matches, how can I say it, slightly intoxicated with events. Um, isn't it slightly dangerous to let them all tumble into a slide? Um, well, I think you could say that about any part of uh, public realm development, but certainly uh, anyone we've been working with, uh, uh, Rosper, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents, in formulating this uh, planning application, and certainly been consulting with the council in advance of it as well. Um, so I think, you know, we're taking all of these things into consideration, but ultimately trying to create right. a co cosmopolitan space for people. Yeah, I'm really with you. I mean, I don't know, you probably didn't hear the discussion, but I suggested what about a big one coming down the outside of the Shard in London? I mean, that, that's the kind of, what about that? <laughs> that would be fantastic, a huge helter skelter. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> would you have people at the bottom helping? Because I can just imagine, you know, the, the queues would be quite long, I imagine. Would people help you off at the bottom or you just have to get off and run on? No, no, they wouldn't be manned. It would be very much, uh, you know, with a, a, a play park, you know, they're not manned 24 hours a day. Um, I think what we would just try to do is in designing this area is just try and make it as safe as possible. Um, and ultimately what people do with it beyond that is very much a, a, a matter for them. But we do want people to enjoy this space and have fun in it. Stephen Patterson, I would like a slide anyway. Thank you very much uh, from anyone, the company designing them. And finally, the deaf. 